you're trying to watch Netflix with a VPN turned on and you're running into errors that look like this or this, or you can't log in, basically what's happened is your VPN IP address has been identified and blocked by Netflix. Now, this has happened to me a couple of times and I have a few steps you can try to fix it. Try these in order. Um, if one doesn't work, move on to the next one until you can watch Netflix with a VPN again. So, here we go. The first thing I do is I try and identify whether it's my device that's causing the issues or the VPN. To do that, I just install the VPN on a different device, say my phone or my laptop, and if it works on one but not the other, I know it's my device that's causing issues, not the VPN. If the VPN is not working on either device, I'll then contact my VPN's live chat support feature. For this example, I'm using Windscribe. Uh, so what I'll do is I will search for Windscribe live chat or support or something like that. And down here, uh, a pop-up will come up, allowing me to talk to a robot and then hopefully a real person. And I'll just ask them, hey, are you aware of your VPN not working with Netflix? Can you point me in the direction of a server I might be able to use? Um, now, to be honest with you, most VPNs have this live chat support. Some of them don't. If, if the VPN you're using doesn't, skip this step completely and move on to the next one which is deleting your cookies. Now, cookies can sometimes cause issues with VPNs. They can interfere and things like that. To be honest with you, deleting your, deleting your cookies probably won't fix Netflix not working with your VPN, but what it does is it gives your device a clean slate. So I'm on a MacBook, I'm on Safari. For me to do this, I just go settings, privacy, manage website data, and I would clear this, remove all. Um, very similar processes for other browsers, Chrome, uh, Firefox, it's, it's incredibly simple. Do that, make sure you've got a clean slate, and then I advise you change server on your VPN. So if I'm using Windscribe, this uh, IP address may have been blocked by Netflix. What I would do is I would change to a different server. So for example, I'm currently using Chicago Cub. If I change to, I don't know, something like Los Angeles, watch this here. Notice how my IP address has changed. If this IP hasn't been detected and blocked by Netflix, then hopefully I'll be able to watch Netflix with Windscribe again. If that doesn't work, I mean, try maybe one more server just to make doubly sure. If it's not working still, I'll be honest with you, it's not looking good. Uh, there's one more thing you can possibly try, and that's changing to a different protocol. Most VPNs support multiple protocols. Without getting into too much technical jargon, a protocol is the way the VPN uh, reroutes your data through its own server. Um, servers, sorry. Uh, you can see here on Windscribe, I've got a lot of different protocols I can choose. Um, I advise going through these and seeing if one works. It might simply be a case of the protocol you're using is no longer compatible with Netflix. If that doesn't work, there's two paths you can go down. You can wait for your VPN to fix the problem on its end, but there's no telling how long this will take. It could take a day, a week, a month, a year. You don't know. Um, you can wait or you can decide to upgrade to a VPN that works well with Netflix. The VPN I use, which I think is the very best on the market, is ExpressVPN. I've actually got it installed. I use it daily. I've never had issues with it with Netflix. Uh, it's got servers all over the world and uh, it's available on any almost device, almost any device, sorry. And it's just so reliable, easy to use, nice clean uh, interface. Um, yeah, if, if, you, if you really want to watch Netflix with a VPN, I could not... Um, recommend ExpressVPN enough and we actually have a deal with them if you click on the link in the description below you can get three months of your subscription for free um, if you don't like ExpressVPN or you just want something that's a bit different another VPN that's very good is also NordVPN who 
Funnily enough, we also have a deal with, if you click on the link in the description below, you can get an extra three months on your subscription, which is basically the exact same deal. Anyway, if you've gone through all those steps and you're not able to watch Netflix with your VPN, I think it's time to upgrade to one that works well. Uh, ExpressVPN is that VPN.